Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. So today we're going to talk about Magico. It's a speaker company. Been around for a while, I don't know, 10 years or so, maybe a little bit longer. And and their philosophy and our philosophy, because I think there's a lot of similarities here. And, and I think it'll go a long way to help you understand what we go through on the room side and the speaker side. You see a lot of similarities. Their big thing is their cabinet design. If you see the structure here in the graphic, you know, this is a, a metal skeleton that's really designed to manage probably every residence that, that this cabinet could ever produce at any amplitude, right? At any strength. So they're really good on, on resident manager management because they understand that speaker sound cabinet and electronics, all three of these, you know, contribute. So you have to understand that, you know, this is a community effort kind of, you know, uh, you have to understand that speaker is really a small room, very small room. So the residents are going to be high, higher frequencies than a room probably. So we have to pay attention to the structure of the cabinet, the design of the cabinet. This is really critical with noise transmission that we go to because you got to have the proper rigidity, the proper flexibility, the proper density, you know, there's no one size fits all, this double wall nonsense and wasted space, poor performance, 50 years old. Things have improved in the last 50 years, even in acoustics, okay? So residences are really critical. We got to control them. The room is a speaker cabinet and we've got to be conscious of it. Now, be nice to go to the uh, level of detail that Magico goes through inside their cabinets with the internal structure that you see in that graphic, but we can't really do that in a room. We can if we're building it from the ground up, and of course that's the best way to ensure maximum quality. So we know that we got room sound, speaker sound, and gear sound. We got three things going on in the room that finally we get to hear, right? So all this care, attention to detail and all of that. We know that our shell that keeps noise out, it must be rigid and not add resonances. The goal in acoustics is not to create more problems, but to minimize problems, right? So that's what our goal should be. Everything matters in the presentation value. The sonic signature that you hear in the room is not an accident. People say, well, that room sounds good and it, it, there was no design at all. There is. It might not have been a conscious design with math and physics, but the dimensions of the room, the usage of the room, the surface treatments of the room, the rates and levels of absorption of the room happen to be favorable, all working together. It doesn't happen that often, but good rooms that achieve high sound quality are designed that way. Okay, they're not flukes, they're designed that way. Everything matters in the presentation value of the room and the speaker design, just like everything else, okay? Magico knows this, Acoustic Fields, we know this too, because getting good sound quality is a direct result about doing a lot of little things correctly, but more importantly, in the correct order, okay? That's the issue. Magical knows that if you control the cabinet resonances and look at their drivers, look at their crossovers, my gosh, those things are works of art. So they're controlling the electronics. Now I believe the drivers, I haven't followed them lately. We are going to get one of the M5s uh, for our studio here. I'm kind of on the hunt now. So if you know anybody that's got a pair, uh, we need, we're not, too concerned about the appearance. If it's got a little scratch here and there where well, we don't care, we're all about the performance, but send us an email and let us know. But we're gonna get the M5 for our studio down the road here. Cause I'm very curious after doing this video and, and looking at the, the level of a detail that they go through, I really wanna hear this speaker. So I really wanna see what they're up to because their philosophy is really close to ours. So, the room is just as important as the speaker, as the gear, maybe more so, okay? You know, there's a ratio that people speak about. Well, the room is 50%, the gear is 50%. You can debate that all day, but, but what you have to realize is that it's the gear, it's the electronics, the speaker, and the room. Those are the three things that have to work together, just like in a speaker. 
It's the cabinet, it's the driver, and the electronics. The similarities are really quite strong. So the room design and speaker design, you have to really be conscious of all the efforts that go into it, okay? I hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis so that'll help you. Thank you.